Hello, uh, my name is Deontay. Uh, I'm an ROTC cadet, and I like to explain how our program goes. A lot of people ask a lot of questions. Uh, they would like to introduce themselves. Right here on the left-hand side is my sergeant. My name is Sergeant Anthony G. Adams. G stands for Get That Money. And um, I'm a ROTC instructor. I've been instructing JROTC for 17 and a half years. And I love the what I love what I do. And I'm, I'm here beside Colonel Mary McKiernan. And I'm Colonel Mary McKiernan. My E stands for excellent, Mary E. McKiernan. And we like to strive for excellence in our program. And I've been teaching Army JROTC all at Martin Luther King High School since January of 2018. Uh, a lot of people ask, what does the ROTC stand for? The JROTC stands for Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. It's a course that is known around the world in many schools across the country. And the purpose of the JROTC is to motivate young people to be better citizens. It's a leadership program. We help build, build character. We do a lot of community service. And I think a lot of times it helps students get out of their shell and experience thing, things in real life that they wouldn't naturally experience. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of young students come, I think I messed up again. You can cut that out. Yeah. A lot of young people come to the program and a lot, of pe a lot of other people don't come because they think JROTC is all about how the military will be, where they're yelling, they're getting yelled at, they're supposed to be doing all this, all this uh, exercising and all that. I would like you to explain that there's a way that you can just be on the drill team. And can you explain what the drill team is to them? Well, first of all, being in JROTC is a voluntary program. It's an elective that's known around the United States. It's supported by the United States military. Cadet commanded at uh, Fort Knox, Kentucky. Um, the program consists of cadets who come in and four different let levels. As freshmen, you're let one. Let two are sophomore. Let three are your juniors. And then let four is the seniors. When you come in the program, you're required to wear the uniform once a week. This is not a recruitment program to get soldiers and cadets to join the military. It's a uh, program that teaches leadership, dedication, you know, and you know, citizenship. We foster our program with the seven Army values that the United States Army has adopted. The seven Army values, values being loyalty, discipline, as well, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. These seven Army values is what we teach and uh, live by as Gerald T.C. Cadets. They're also uh, seven traits that as a civilian should use in their everyday lives. And oftentimes, just to expand on what Sergeant Adams said, a lot of times we'll be just going about our business in our daily lives. He'll run into his former students. I'll run into former students that maybe took JROTC and they wouldn't, they might not necessarily have been my students, but they say that JROTC changed their outlook on their lives. So I think if we can just mentor and motivate some of the cadet, of the cadets and the kids that we come across, it really, it, it makes it very mean, meaningful to us. And to add to that, as far as teams, we also have teams, drill team, raiders, uh, academic teams, and um, these are uh, activities that cadets can further their involvement in the program. Um, you don't have to be a member of a team, you know, just the academics you can just you know, be involved in just the academics and have a great, but a lot of cadets like to take it further, go on uh, different you know, community activities, parades, you know, things of that nature. But uh, as far as yelling and everything, we try to make the program a business for cadets because they run it. Me and Cadet I mean, uh, Colonel Cam, uh, Colonel, I say Colonel Cam, Colonel McTiernan, we, um, are the mentors. The cadets run the program. Uh, you have a battalion commander, first sergeants, company commanders, uh, platoon sergeants. They're all working together as a team to run the program. So, you know, that's, you know, pretty, pretty much the breakdown. And as far as running the program, my, you know, yourself, you're a uh, 
he's the, uh, the dead guard. color guard commander. And soon to be maybe the cadet commander next year. Um, as far as ROTC, when it comes to field trips and events, like what is your most common thing that ROTC as a whole does? We're obligated to do two parades a year, so we're going to fulfill that requirement this year. Uh, we've done the Polish Parade and we're doing the Veterans Day Parade. We are obligated to have a service learning project. We like to try to tie in maybe the, our trip to New York City if we um, are able to conduct that. We, like, we would like to tie that into service learning somehow. We also always try to fit in a trip to the military base just so the kids can kind of see what it's like, what life is like on a military base, because many of them have never been to a military base. Some of them maybe have never been to New York. So we really try to just, again, always expand their horizons. Real team, we like to you know, get them out, places they've never been, drill nationals in Florida, uh, Raider nationals in Georgia. Local competitions include Philadelphia, New Jersey, and New York. So just try to get kids out, you know, out of their comfort zone. A lot of kids never been on an airplane. Some kids have never been outside of Philadelphia or across the bridge in New Jersey. Just try to expand your horizons. Uh, there's a, uh, with every program, there's always an issue. I always wanted to ask what you think is your most common issue when it comes to ROTC, like any issues that like kind of bother and kind of hold back the program. I think, I think we have one issue that's twofold. They always give us all of the freshmen. And this is a concern for us because it's difficult to take a group of people and force them into JRTC. The only really good thing that does for our program is it gives us really good numbers. So we have really good numbers starting out and then those freshmen that decide to stay as let to see uh, students, they become an asset of course, but it's difficult to kind of take a big number of students and make them want to be in our program or show them really what the program is all about because they give us an awful lot of them. You yeah. can expand on that. If As you I want. said before, the JRTC program is a voluntary program. A lot of times issues happen where uh, cadets are placed in the program, you know, without their consent. And that can, you know, cause it. But it, it, it can also be a good thing for some because some people, some of the students may not even care about it until they join it and then they see the, the benefits and you know, how, how good the program is and they elect to stay. But where another issue happens is their second year or third year being in the program, attaining a certain rank and position, the next year they may not be in JRTC, which also can cause some issues where they were in before, gained a certain position, and now the second or third year they're not in it. And it's like, okay, now where is that cadet that was in charge of this or could have been on a very important position on a team and the next year they're not in it. So those are some of the issues we'd like to try to clean up. Is there anything being pre-planned or an idea to try to fix that issue? That's a good question. Um, we, we have you know, internal you know, meetings and we, we have met with administration so this school as far as academics you know has all this academics but the uh, the other programs like uh, you know auto shop and cooking and you know different types of you know welding you used to have all those those uh, electives in this school but they're pretty much uh, limited to very few electives in the school so it's, kind of difficult to try to maneuver around, you know, cadets, and, you know, students, students' responsibilities as far as their, you know, their academics and their, their, the classes that they have to attend, you know, have some kids start in, you know, start taking honors classes or whatever, you know, this, it's just kind of difficult, but we're, you know, we're trying to work a process. Um, as far as King having the ROTC program, how long have you been here, and has it been a good experience so far, or is it bad? Well, for me, I've been here what, five and a half years. Five and a half years. Ago. Five and a half years, and um, you know, coming from Xavier High School in New York, uh, 
all male Jesuit school. And then from there, I was in Burlington, New Jersey. You know, I've, I've, I've seen different types of scenarios as far as schools. I like this one better because you have the flexibility and the freedom to pretty much, you know, work things the way you want. Uh, a lot of schools restrict you from certain activities, but you have a free reign of activities and freedom here, you know, from my experience. So I enjoy Martin Luther King, especially I'm going, I'm working at a school called Martin Luther King. That means a lot to me growing up, being born in the 60s. And I can just expand. Um, this is the only program that I've been in. This is the only place that I've ever taught JRTC. So uh, I definitely love the school. I love what we've done with the program. I think the program had some ups and downs before Sergeant Adams came here and before I came here. I think um, they weren't using the former SAI and the former AI in, in their true capacity of what they should have been used for. And um, those, those two people weren't really a lot of times the military gives you step by step on what you need to do, and if you follow those steps, you'll be successful for the most part. So they weren't following the steps as much. Um, I think we had had some failed inspections, and thanks to Sergeant Adams and I, we earned the gold star. Uh, for, our, for our next inspection, it was under COVID, so I don't even think they had a gold star option, but um, you know, again, again, we will earn that gold star again once we're up and running again and, and rolling you know, through everything. Uh, that would be all for all the questions that we're going to ask you. Um, now we're going to cut to a cadet that is in the program.